it's bowl time now. Well, that's great. This is where you want to be this time of year is playing in the bowl game and practicing for it. And obviously, uh, you know, being here, we're, I, I know our team's thrilled to be in the AutoZone Liberty Bowl and here, I mean, a beautiful Peabody Hotel. And, uh, great game to be involved in. I know we're ready to get back out there on the field and um, try to run off some of this Christmas joy that we uh, ingested over the last several days. Coach, how do you juggle allowing your guys to have fun and the bowl experience with so much that you have to do, but also focus on the job at hand, which is to beat Rice on Tuesday? Well, I mean, they got to remember what we're here for, and that's you're here to win a football game. Now, we want to have a lot of fun while we do it, and there's a lot of time in the day to get everything done with that. And, uh, you know, I think our guys, uh, the older guys, will help the young guys understand when it's time to, to be serious, get to work, we got to get to work. And then when it's time to have fun, we'll have all the fun you want. Is every bowl experience unique or fun? They're all very, very different. You know, I mean, I think your memory sometimes after them. The game has a lot to do with how you remember the bowl. If, it, if you come out on the right end of it, it tends to be a better bowl experience. But, uh, no, I think it is. It's it's uh, Everything's so unique, you know. I mean, not just the coaches and families, but all our players. I mean, to be able to come and stand in a hotel like this and uh, come to a great city uh, like Memphis, our, it, it's a unique experience for a lot of our guys that wouldn't have gotten to do that if we didn't have to go. When you mentioned you were coaching, you know, you practice, then you take some time off of the holidays. Now you're back, the, the home stretch, if you will, for the game. Is the game plan in, and this is about tweaking, or do you still have a lot more to do between now and Tuesday? No, we, what we do is we try to get everything in before we leave. And uh, so when you get up here, you know, you're kind of going in. We did a game week before we left. So when we left practice um, last Friday, it was. You know, we finish that like we would finish our last practice of the week on a Thursday and, um, you know, gone through the whole game ready to go play the game. So we come here, we're really just going back and refreshing everything that we've done. You're Coach, from how, the, do you, you're how, from, do you how do you ensure that the team that take a team like Rice like those Well, I mean, they're not. I mean, the team has 10 wins and won their conference championship. I know there's, uh, you know, you look at all the talent they have. They, you know, they can turn on the film and see all the great players they have on their team. So uh, that's pretty easy to make sure that, that you know they're not going to do that. That because uh, you know, I mean, they, they they show that they're a great team on film. What is the impact of having four straight goals for a program that you're developing? I think it's huge, you know, and something that's never been done at Mississippi State before in, 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 the, in the history of the program, and uh, you know, it just shows the direction we're headed in to be a consistent winner. And, uh, you know, if you want to contend for titles, you, you know, you got to be a consistent winner first. So, uh, you know, we're trying to build a program not just for the short term, for the long term, and, uh, and hopefully get in that elite level. When you when you guys not only representing Mississippi State and your alums, but you're representing the best conference in college football, you battle all those other SEC. But now that it's bowl season, do you all carry the, the flag of the SEC when you're playing a game like this? I think everybody kind of roots for each other, you know. I mean, and, and, uh, uh, you know, there's always you always have that rivalry between the schools. But I think you know they want to see the other schools in our league do well and uh, you know I think a lot of times you teams you've played I think after you've played somebody you have a little bit of respect for that team afterwards so um, all the teams that you've played that are on your schedule I think you kind of root for those guys afterwards just because of that respect you have from from the game you mentioned rice when you turn on the film when you look at them they have pretty much come out of nowhere they had some struggles but they're on a roll now as you broke that film down with your coaching staff what stands out to you as to what they do well they have the proper recipe for success which is they got a great senior class you know a lot of seniors that have played a lot of football have experience are very talented players they mix in a couple superstar players in there and you know they're big receiver they're running back they're both corners or NFL players so uh, you know and, and when you do that you have that recipe of the leadership and the debt and you know the quality of player across the board then mix in the right superstars uh, you have a championship team and that's what they are a lot of great places to eat in Memphis it's all about but how do you guard yeah. against some of your offensive line and maybe putting on too much weight I have, between to guard, I have to guard against me how much I've eaten <laughs> over the last couple of days but uh, um, you know what no, our guys will have fun you know I mean that, the, the one thing I think the older guys being to be into four straight bowls or, or a lot of the older guys they know what to what's going on they know how to get themselves ready and uh, you know and they'll do that this week and kind of and, and lead the young guys on how to do it you you also have always made no bones about how important this area is to you recruiting wise to get five or six days or in this area um, how big is this for you guys when, when you roll out on Tuesday and it's Mississippi State and the Liberty Bowl for you recruiting wise? Well, I think you get a lot of local attention I think a lot of the players see uh, you know I mean the players in this area see that we've gone to four straight bowl games they can go play close to home their families get to see them play uh, but they're playing on the biggest stage in all of college football and they're playing for a winning program.